Hey, what's going on? Rakeem Madison here, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to set up Facebook Pixel events. So hopefully you're ready for this information because I'm definitely ready to share it with you. And if you haven't yet already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, tick that bell icon if you want more videos just like this one right here, all right? All right, so let's jump right into today's content. I'm going to be walking you step by step through how to do this. Um, I'm going to be using the uh, software that I use to build pages. You may be using a completely different um, software, but pretty much the same thing apply. The same things apply uh, to most of these softwares. You just have to go to where um, you can install your Pixel. All right. All right. So let's jump right into it because I know you. You probably you probably a busy person. You don't want me wasting your time. So let's go here. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go up here to the three lines. All right, so here we go. You want to hit on all tools, and you're going to go here to pixels. All right, now understand um, you have to install the basic pixel first to get to the process where you can start installing uh, uh, installing the events on your pages. All right, so I'm here on data sources. I'm going to click onto my pixel so I can go to as if I'm going to set it up. I've already set mine up, but maybe you haven't set it up yet. All right, so as you can see here, it says setup. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on install pixel. All right, now you have three options, but my real most recommended option is to just go here. It's pretty simple. Click manually add pixel to the website. Now you see this code right here. All you're going to do, click that. It's going to copy it to the clipboard. Now let's go over here to my software, one of my softwares that I use to build pages. All right, so let's say, for instance, <clears throat> let's see if I can find I'm just gonna take uh, let's just take this page right here all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to set up the pixel so this already has you know this is already a page I already built but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on advanced settings now remember I'm using a different I may be using a different um, capture page and capture page building software than you but all you have to do is just go to where you set up your pixel on your page all right now I'm going to go to tracking codes and I'm going to paste that link right there. And for me, that's all I would have to do to set up the pixel. Now I'm going to hit save and preview. All right. So just give it a minute here. It should populate. All right. So here we go. All right. So there's the page and I'm just going to hit done because I'm done with that particular page. Now, since um, you also want to make sure you have the face Facebook pixel helper installed as I do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, copy this page and I'm going to put it up here in the uh, browser. All right. So I'm going to open a page to check and make sure that my pixel is active. I already know my pixel is active, but I just want to double check here with the Facebook pixel helper to show you. All right. So here we go. You can see there is an active pixel on this website. So that means that for anybody that comes to this website, I can track, um, I can, I'll be able to like basically retarget them and continue to show them ads. All right. All right. So boom, it's good to go. Now I'm going to click off this site. I just want to show you how to use the Facebook pixel helper helper if you weren't already familiar. All right. So now I'm going to go back over here. Now, now you can see my stuff is active. It'll show you right here. Now I'm going to hit continue. All right, so this is the new Facebook event setup tool. Now, how do you set up your events? They made it easy to where you don't even really have to do code. All you literally going to have to do is put the website in and then a few couple few more steps, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. So I'm going to take this same website, right? I'm going to copy it again and I'm going to go back here and then I'm going to hit uh, use Facebook event setup tool. Now. You see what it says now. This isn't how it used to be, but I'm glad they've made it so much easier, especially for the people who are just starting out with the platform. And they don't really understand it so much. They've made this process a lot simpler. All right. So all I'm going to have to do is I'm going to put my website URL in here. Okay. HTTP. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm going to hit open the website. Now, what it's going to do is they're going to pull up a tab. As you can see, it's opening up a new tab for me and it's going to have like some stuff here in the left top corner all right just a moment get just just give it a few minutes for it to populate all right so measure the valuable actions they're just giving you letting you know what you can do here so i'm going to go ahead and get started so right here in the left corner as i was saying 
the only thing you're gonna have to do is click either this button or this button so what do you want to do do you want to track the new button do you want to track when people click the button or do you want to track when people come to this URL see I love that they did that alright so in this case we want to track the URL so I'm gonna hit track the URL and I'm gonna select the type of event that I want so me personally if they're just coming to this capture page like all I want to do is I just want this to be a um, a page view right I don't I don't I just want them to view the content and I'll still be able to track them but let's say for instance this was a page like the page that they will go to after going to the capture page then I would set this up as a lead okay all right now any any people who come to this page like well let's just say that this is the the middle page anytime somebody comes to the middle page Facebook is going to track that as a lead and then I can focus on the people who are serious that actually made it past the capture page and made it to the middle page because those are the people that are most engaged alright so at this point the URL contains this or you can do equals usually I do equals and then I will hit confirm alright now Facebook is setting this up boom you see how quick that was uh, set up complete all right, so you don't now at this point you just hit finish setup and then you hit finish. So now they're, they're just kind of giving me like this was this event setup tool helpful? Absolutely, it was helpful. I absolutely love the tool. All right, so at this point, all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit skip. All right, now it is set up. All right, it's going to take you back in here. Now you can test your events. So boom, it's going to have it. Okay, so it says this content is no longer available, maybe a temporary unavailable. Uh, let's just hit close for now all right so it's doing this little thing here and it's letting you know hey you set it up you're good to go right you're done you don't have to play the game of um, you know what what you used to have to do let me just show you what you used to have to do um, you will actually have to take the code from the particular event and then try to fit it in here in the right space and that that would that could be a headache if you don't know too much about code all right so let's go back over here um, I don't know why it's taking so long, but let me let me just refresh the page here. Okay, I don't understand why it went and said this content is no longer available. That's kind of weird. Uh, what's going on? What is going on? Okay, I don't I don't know what's going on. Um, but just give me a second here. Um, let's go back to pixels. Ah, oh, this is blowing my head right now. I don't know why it's doing this. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and exit this page while it's doing what it's doing. Okay, so now we're good, right? We're back to where we want to be. Now, now that you've you've done your um, pixel event setup, now you're going to want to go here to custom conversions because this is how you're going to be able to, you're going to have to set this up to allow Facebook to find the right type of people for you when you're running your ads. All right, so let's go to create custom conversion. And the next step we're gonna do is we're going to website event, all URL traffic. What we're gonna do is contact, uh, make sure we put this to equals. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to post the, the website that we had earlier, right, our website. And now we're gonna scroll down here and then we're going to name this custom conversion. So just for this video purpose, I'm going to just put test and I'm going to make this a lead conversion. So anytime somebody goes to my bridge page, my middle page, right? I want that to be counted as a lead. Okay. And you can put the value, how much the lead is worth to you here, but I'm not going to worry about that in this particular case. And I'm just going to hit create. All right. So Facebook now just created my new custom conversion so I can hit done here and now anytime I go to set up an ad like if I go to set up a conversion ad right because that's the ad you want to set up if you're actually going to be doing like you know uh, uh, setting up an event so if I hit ads manager here give me a second uh, come on Facebook all right, boom. Now I'm going to go to create an ad. As you can see, I already have an ad, right, and a conversion ad running already. But I just want to show you what you're going to click on to set up that ad. All right, so boom. You're going to go over here to the conversion tab. You're then going to click on conversion. 
it's going to pop down below there and you can go ahead and name this whatever you want to name it i'm just going to leave it as convergence as for now and i'm going to oh uh, no sorry all right there we go now i'm going to hit continue now at the top you're going to see that certain objectives give you different um like allow you to view different things so as you can see it says conversion event mfa that's a conversion uh but that's a conversion event that I already have running on another ad. We're not going to use that. Let's actually go with the one that I just created. So you see right here, it's showing me five events received to this one, right? And I would just find the one that I created. Since I created the one that says test, I'm going to hit test right there. And as you can see, it says your custom conversion isn't active. Now, it'll become active as people actually get to that event, right? Facebook is gonna feed you people who are actually gonna be willing to become a lead. They already know who are the people on Facebook that take the most action. They already know who are the people on Facebook that buy the most on Facebook. That's what the conversion ad allows you to do. Not waste time, like actually give Facebook, like allow Facebook to help you and put you in front of the right people. That's what the conversion type of ads are doing, and that's what the Facebook events allow you to do, okay? So just to kind of show you this visually, this is how this would work. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so here we go. First page is usually a capture page. The second one is usually a bridge page, right, where people come to see maybe possibly you or you're showing them something before they get to the actual sales page, which is the SP page. All right, now, when people come here, you can have a pixel on this. You could just have the basic pixel on this page. But when they get to this page, you want to have that event, okay? Me personally, I always, on my middle page, I always have, um, I create a lead, a custom conversion for leads. And then I put this page, this is the page I want Facebook to send me people to. So when they click here, I only want people that are going to be willing to go here. And that's what the conversion ads allow you to do. That's how you want to set it up. Now, for people who can control their sales page, most people who are affiliates, they don't have control of the sales page, all right? But if you do, you can put one on the sales page and have a purchase uh, a purchase custom conversion on there because Facebook is going to show you people who are most likely going to purchase things. They already know the behavior, all right? So that's pretty much how you want to set up your Facebook pixel events. Um, hopefully you have a better understanding and if you do uh, give me a thumbs up also drop me a comment down below letting me know if this was helpful in any way and with that being said I look forward to seeing you in the next video my friend peace